Good morning. Welcome to AM Kentucky. It's Wednesday, January 30th. I'm Tina Jennings. And I'm Chris Allen. Welcome to Wednesday. It is Wednesday and it is it the 30th. Is, yeah, I'll okay. remind you. Thank you. I've had my first cup of coffee, so. That's your first cup? Now the, uh, what do you call those? Synapses? Yeah, now they're They're firing. firing. Yeah. Yes. Oh, so. Starting to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've, you've been here overnight uh, since midnight. Shane, Shane was has here been all in. Night, yeah. Yes, keeping us up to date, keeping everybody out there uh, up on what was going on with the severe weather. And we have Brett uh, Baldeck, our reporter, out at some damage this morning. And he was saying, of course, in the next day or two, people will be going out to survey it to see if actual tornadoes mm -hmm. touch down. But he's saying there is a lot of uh, damage. He's out in Muhlenberg County. Let's actually go out there. The sun may be creeping up. We might be able to get a better look at what's going on, Brett. Okay, good morning, everybody. I'm sorry for using my cell phone. We're having some communication problems, obviously, this morning with all this rain and wind. But I am in Penrod, Muhlenberg County, a very small community. Um, I've been talking to some eyewitnesses this morning who have said that a potential unconfirmed tornado did roll through here just after 2 this morning. I'm going to step out of the rain really quick, and you can see some of this damage. We're at the Penrod Baptist Church. The roof actually, what, from they told, what they've been telling us is the roof actually blew off of the church. And as we're behind the church now, you can see just there's debris for as far as the eye can see. And you can see actually there is a piece of two by four sticking straight up in the ground right there. And obviously this is still an unconfirmed tornado, but from everything that I've seen today, I do believe that a tornado did roll through this area, but again, the National Weather Service is gonna be the ones to confirm that. And an interesting note about this is there is a home directly next door to this church. And mind you, the, the roof blew off this church, but the home next door is actually, believe it or not, unscathed. The man that lives in the home said he heard a roaring sound, but no damage to his home at all. He actually still has power. So very interesting situation out here in Muhlenberg County, of course. We're gonna keep you guys updated all day long on this potential tornado situation on our web channel wbko.com and of course on our Facebook and Twitter. Of course, I'm going to send it back to you guys in the studio right now. I apologize. I'm not going to be able to take any questions because we're having some communication problems, but I'm going to send it back to you guys in the studio and we'll have more tomorrow, today on midday, 5, 6, 10, and of course on our web channel. We'll send it back to you guys. All right. Thank you, Brad. Good job. And uh, he is, if you don't know where Penrod is, it's right up 431 as you're coming out of Logan County into Muhlenberg County, uh, the Penrod community there, a little bit northeast of Lake Malone is where right. that's located. So, and, he's, uh, and we can see there's rain on him right now. And actually, yeah. we just had KSB give us a call, so we're just getting this information. Power lines are down on the 31W by, is it? Showmont Road. Showmont Road Park, Mammoth. So no semis will be going through that area. Cars only at least for the next 30 minutes because of the situation. So this just coming in right now from KSB. And here's the deal. We're hearing, I was just hearing scanner chatter a few minutes ago there are trees and power lines down all over the place so we're hearing some of these bigger reports like where Brett is in Muhlenberg County mm -hmm. and spotty reports in Todd and Christian County even up towards Smith's Grove here in Warren County and all up and down Kentucky 101 is another place you'll want to avoid a lot of trees and power lines down there up to Smith's Grove down toward Barron River Lake and then a little bit further east maybe up toward uh, Munfordville and Hart County be watchful and really everywhere. You're gonna have to, there's gonna be these places where we'll, we'll have to wait till daylight to really right. find out the extent of the damage. And that's what happens when the, the weather happens overnight. Is yeah. We don't really know what we're dealing with until we get a really good look at it once the sun comes up. But is the rain gonna continue throughout the day? Not all day. For okay. the next hour or two, okay. we're going to still get this rain, but no severe weather. All of that is gone. You don't have to worry about any more severe weather, tornadoes, severe thunderstorms, maybe some localized flooding just because of the, the rainfall that we're getting, but okay. nothing more than that. Here's a look at first.